Let's start filling in the faces for the front bumper. So I'm going to take these four and let's hit F and let's make our way to the right hand side. I'm going to get back here and let's take these four and let's hit F. Let me just slide this in a bit and I'm going to put one more in here. Let me get to the top view. I'm just going to move this in slightly. Now let's continue filling in some faces. Okay, I think I'm going to keep just one in the middle here. So I'm going to merge this at center and I'm going to slide this from here to about here. Now let's make sure the spaces between these are even. All right, now let me just take these two and hit F. Let me make sure the spaces between these are even. Put one here and put one more here. Now let's take these four and press F and then press F one more time to fill in a face there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's just recalculate the normals. All right, now let's go back to the side and fill in some faces. Now right around here, I think I'm gonna put one vertex in here so that we can fill quads in this area. I'm gonna take these two vertices here and I'm gonna move them in the Y axis a bit. Deselect that one and move just this one in the Y axis. Now I'm just gonna take these two and press F all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to take these four and hit F, deselect these two and press F to there. Let me add one vertex in here. I'm just going to move it in the X axis slightly. And I'm going to take these four and hit F. And I'm going to deselect the ones here and press F one more time. I'm going to put two vertices here to match the vertices we have on the left side. Let me get into camera view and see if we need to align things here. I'm going to move this in the Y axis a bit. Let me get to the left side view here so I can see things better. I'm going to take all this, press S and then Y and scale this out a little bit to about somewhere here. And I'm going to take these two and move them out to about somewhere there. Then I'm going to scale this in the X axis a bit to about there. Let me take this scale it in the X axis a bit. Just take this one and move it in the X axis. Let's see how we can do this area as well. So we're just gonna move it manually to about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Let me scale this one out a bit more. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take these two and let's just press F. Now we're gonna select these four, press F, and take these two and press F all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to put two vertices in between these two vertices we have here. And I'm going to take these two and press F all the way to the left. Let's make our way down here. I think we have one too many vertices here. We need three here to match the three we have up here. So let's dissolve this edge we have down here. And just make sure the spaces between all of them are even. Alright, now let's press Ctrl and R2 here. Add one at the back to about somewhere here. I want to put two more in the middle here. All right, now I'm going to take these four and hit F, deselect the back, and take the ones we have here and press F all the way to the right hand side. I just have to do something small here. I'm going to take this from here to the bottom. I'm going to press S and an X and scale this out to about there. Let me get to the front view so I can see this better. So I'm going to scale it to about there. I'm going to do the same thing with this S and an X, scale it out until it flows nicely. I'm finally going to do the same thing here as in an X and scale it out until it nicely flows in that area. I'm just going to scale it in a little bit. Now let's take these four and hit F. Take these two and press F. I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here to add in an edge loop in here. Let's take this and slide it down so we have a quad shape here. Now we can take these four and hit F. Now before we finish or start this area here, it's important to know you could create this as a guide mesh and then use the guide mesh to flawlessly achieve the front bumper. Now in this case, I'm not gonna do that because that is gonna take a little bit more time to do. So I'm just gonna try and do this with just this bumper right here. So let's create the cutout we have here for the headlights and then take things from there. So I'm gonna take all these faces here and I'm just gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we just duplicate it. Well, let's hit F 
and then in set in here to about somewhere around here I'm not sure how much let me go into wireframe here and see what we got so maybe something like that would be good and let's delete the faces I'm just gonna make my way here and I'm gonna take these two and merge at last like that now let's see how we can clean things up here let me get into full screen now I'm gonna take this I'm just gonna make sure that this surface kind of flows with this one right here so let's start with this vertex here and I'm gonna move this in the y-axis to about somewhere here now let's take a look at this area so I'm gonna take this from here to there I'm gonna hit S and Y and scale this out until we are about somewhere I don't know somewhere around there maybe I think that would be good but I'm just gonna shrink it in a little bit so something like this let me get to the top view so I can see this much better so something like that I'm gonna deselect this and let's scale this in a little bit so something like that should be good now let's take a look at this side so I'm gonna take this and move it in a Y till it's out to about there and let's take this I'm gonna move that let me get to the top view so I can see this all right so let's take all of this move it in a Y until we have it about here yeah and I'm gonna take these two and move them out deselect this and move this out and I think that should be good now let me just take this and slide it into about here so let's get into camera view and see what we have let me take all the ones we have here and let's move it up a bit so G N and Z and move it to about here and I'm gonna take these two as well and move it in the x-axis a little bit to about there let me scale this out maybe a little bit more do the same thing here all right let me take all this and scale it in the x-axis a little bit more for this area right here and I'm going to scale this up in a Z a little bit as well. I think that should be good. All right, let me move it in a Y a little bit. Get to the top view. Let's see what we have. Maybe a little bit more in a Y. And I think that should be good. Let me move this out. All right, now let's get into the camera view and hit F to fill in a face. I'm going to insert a little bit here, so to about somewhere around here. Now let's delete the faces for now. Now I'm going to take the whole thing, let's move it in the X, or let's make this the active element, move it in the X, and move it up in the Z, like so. You can see the lip up here is very tiny, but the ones here are slightly bigger, and the one on the left is way bigger. So I'm going to scale this in the Z, like so, so to about somewhere around here. Now let's take all of this and scale it up in the Z until we have equalized border here. I'm going to slide this up a bit and slide this in. I want to take all of this and move it in the X until the border here is way bigger. So something like so. Now let's get out of camera and see what we have here. Let me just move this in to about here. And let's see what we have. Now we can take the whole thing. Let's get out of full screen. Now I'm just going to move this in the Y to about somewhere around here. Maybe a little bit more to the inside. So somewhere around there should be good. Let's move it out ever so slightly. So something like that. Now I'm going to extrude this in the Y axis to about somewhere around here should be good let's get back into the camera view so I'm going to scale this down to about here let's take this move this up I'm going to scale this in the x-axis to about there just so we are matching the shape of the light here so I'm going to move this in the x move it to about there and then let's scale this down to here scale it up in the z let's get into the front view and see what this looks like let me just take the whole thing here I'm going to scale it in the x a bit to about here scale it up in the Z 
to about here. Let me take this sign and scale it in the X a bit. So let's take everything we have here up to about this point and let's extrude it in Y to about somewhere here. And I'm going to take these two and extrude it in the X to about somewhere here. Let me take these three or these four, extrude it in a Y to about here. Let's get to the top view and into local view here. And I'm going to take these two and hit F. I'm going to have to slide things around. Now let's take these two and hit F, put in two extra vertices in the middle here. And let's take these two and hit F until there. All right. Now let me take this to scale this in the Z axis, scale this in the Z. Now the final thing we'll do is to take all of these and let's extrude it in the Y to about somewhere here. Maybe somewhere around here should be good. Now let's see how we can fit this area in as well. So I'm just going to slide this up. Now let me just take this, get onto the side view, and I'm just going to extrude it by eyeballing to about somewhere here. All right. There we go. Now let me just take the whole thing. I'll get to the front view and I'll scale it in the X axis a bit to about here. And I'll make this the active element now and scale it down in the Z also to about there. I'm just going to put two more in here. And I'm going to hit Alt and S to shrink this out a little bit like so. Just so we have that area looking a little bit rounded than flat. Now the final thing we're going to do is to adding supporting edge loops. And for this part, I'm going to time lapse through. So let's go ahead and then add in a subdivision surface modifier and see what we have so far. And then we can start adding in the supporting edge loops.